Now I'm covering a couple of hundred yards the long end of the game. Well, it's a difficult part of the game, but there's never been more options in terms of what you can choose from right now. And in my bag, I've got two additional options from Titleist, which could provide you a little bit more of, uh, well, versatility, a little bit different ball flight than maybe a hybrid or the likes of a fairway equivalent might provide. The question is, how can I get on with these two utility irons from Titleist. Now quite simply the two different options are uh, well a bulkier model the more forgiving model the 505 we've seen it before and uh, it's a chunky old effort is it's a driving iron a utility iron as Titleist call it but everything what you'd expect from it big wide sole bit of meat on the whole thing and then you've got this kind of T200 um, three iron which I've uh, got which to me is it's, it's, a, it's a compact driving iron, that's what we'll call it. But I'm expecting, obviously, for this one to be a lot more forgiving, a lot more suitable to me as an average golfer than the T200. But as ever, we'll give both of them a go. And I think we'll start off with, we'll try the 505. Okay, so that's the 505. Just as I expected, a bit short. We're 200 into the wind. This is the three iron that I'm playing. I always know that might be a bit of a stretch for me. But what's interesting is the ball fires off nice and fast. I've got a good penetrating ball flight. I've played a few shots already with this thing and there's an ability to flight it down a bit and also get a high launching ball as well. This is the more forgiving of the two, of course, but still plenty of playability. Oh, that is an incredible ball flight, incredible ball speed. <laughs> and the irony is it's got there because that is the T200. And I'm going to glance down and making sure I haven't got the wrong club in hand because the difference between the two was one was a better swing with the T200. But yet again, much like with the irons, do not be put off by the lofts, by the category that they put these things into. Because for me, I might be finding that the better players club, the T200, is actually a better fit for me and seems to be absolutely zipping off there. Right, so another couple of shots off the tee. First thing I can report, to be quite honest with you, is super playable, super forgiving, and also, like I said, high launch. And don't forget, these are three irons equivalents we've got. So very strong loft, very difficult part of the game to play for a lot of average golfers, but these are doing it extremely well. So I like that a lot. But the second thing we're going to do is we're going to play from a fairway lie because the thing I have issue with utility irons or long irons full stop in the bag is their versatility element and do they become a one trick pony. So I want to be able to play the ball off the fairway and I think we'll probably try something out of the rough as well. But let's get the fairway bit done first. Well, picking that off the fairway was, oh, so nice. That was such a great shot. And again, what you'll see is um, the ball flight. The ball flight is just again what you'd associate with um, a hybrid, maybe um, a four hybrid, seven wood, that towering ball flight, picking up off a tight lie. You know that thing's gonna come down, you know it's gonna sit on green. So super impressed with that 505 from both the, uh, fair, uh, from the fairway, from the tee. We'll see how it does from the rough, but we'll switch up and try from the same lie with that T200. Can I get that same type of performance out of that smaller, more compact version? Oh, do you know what? That is so nice. I mean, very easy to see. There's a bit of a pull down the left-hand side, and again, you uh, so that's my swing issues. But a real strong ball flight. This is where the difference lies between the two clubs in terms of the 505 and the T200. Much more penetrating ball flight that is coming out of this T200. You can definitely play this thing a little bit. You could adjust the ball flight if you like, but um, straight out of the can, standing with uh, everything sort of neutral, looking to just hit that golf ball off the ground there, and that ball just zips out again, carrying a couple of hundred yards quite easily. Like I said, different club than the 505, but equally as impressive. Right, I said I'd play from the rough, but I would play from the kind of lie that I'm looking at now. I wouldn't be choosing to play any of these two clubs from anything much heavier than that, to be quite honest with you. And the idea is what we're looking to do is I'm just trying to get this a couple of hundred yards down the fairway into position. I 
Well, the interesting thing for me there is my line was the big oak tree, really squirted that one out to the right. The positive was that it cut through the turf really well, but just that little bit of turf interaction where I twist the club slightly, and for my ability level, struggle with that T200 and getting that three iron cut through that. So I'm gonna switch up to the 505 and just see what kind of a difference it makes with that super wide sole, and will that help me at my kind of level of golf? Similar lie, ball is sitting down. Let's see, I'm pretty sure the alignment was okay, but definitely seemed to squirt that one out a little bit. Let's see if we can eradicate that with the 505. As you can see, the suggestion is yes. Um, the debate will be how much different the swing was, but what I certainly felt was the interaction is very different in terms of the sole. The three iron, in terms of what I've just used, the T200, very much like cutting through the turf with an iron, whereas this has more of that kind of almost hybrid type of feel where there's a, you can feel it sliding through the turf. And for me, in that kind of position, that's where the 505 is probably helpful for most golfers, but that said, the players with the right kind of ability, that T200 clearly gets that ball out of that situation with a great ball flight. One big thing is the difference in the feel, and this is right throughout the T lineup of irons and uh, goes into these utility irons, driving irons, whatever you want to use in terms of terminology. Um, the T200 is clearly the softer feeling out the two. Um, there's, there is, without doubt, I think once you start to go to these hollow bodied irons, you start to notice a little bit of difference, a little bit of a fall off. Not in a negative way though, I will say what they've done is the sound is really good, but if I was looking for me personally, and if anyone's watched the channel for a number of years, the one thing that really floats my boat is a kind of forged feeling iron, and I think that if I really felt comfortable, had the confidence to play the T200, then it would be my choice in terms of profile and in terms of sound and feel, but it's always that question mark, have you got the ability to actually play it? Well, I think we'll leave it there, you know, and I'll finish on the T200, which was oddly enough, I really love hitting this damn thing. That's it, no more shots to be hit. I've uh, got my verdict and I think it's time. I'll let you know what I think of both of these two irons. Right, so my first look of these two, uh, well, we'll just call them long irons for the sake of it. And uh, they both perform incredibly well, as you've seen. I think personally, in this category, I find it easier to use other clubs. So like I said, if I want a couple hundred yards to cover, I'm going more down the sort of uh, hybrid route to be quite honest with you. However, there's a lot of people that don't like hybrids and much rather have a long iron in their hand. And if that's the case, then these two do it very well. And in my opinion, the 505 is more forgiving, probably more versatile for the majority of golfers out there. And that's exactly what it's designed to do. That's a category it's fall falling into. Um, but, and I said it earlier on the video, if you've got the capability, then hitting that, um, there's so many names here. T200 is just an absolute dream when you get it right. So, so nice to hit. And like I said, I'd love to have the faith in my ability to stick that one in the bag. Really good product. Got to give them a go. Like I said, I hope that I can get hold of them again at a later point and maybe some other loft options. And I'll give you a much more in-depth, detailed review with some data analysis with Trackman. And uh, yeah, I'd like to see what exactly they do and compare them to the likes of hybrids. That's the interesting bit for me. But all said and done, when you go for a custom fit now, you've got so many options to choose from. And this kind of club just adds to that option list, which can only be better and more beneficial for you to make sure it fits into your game. Right, I'm done. Another morning complete here at Betsy Coed Golf Club. Uh, a little bit overcast, but still looks absolutely superb. Thanks as ever for watching. Thanks for Hot Golf for getting me hold of a couple of clubs to demo on Titleist. Not uh, covered these for quite some time. So uh, hopefully a bit more Titleist on the channel moving forward. And I'll see you all soon.